I'm Mike Zentner. I'm the director of Hub Zero at Purdue University. And as I've been standing by my poster, I've heard a couple of common questions. The first is, what is this thing? Uh, it's a software framework for hosting online scientific communities. Uh, that means it has community interaction tools for collaboration. It has knowledge dissemination tools, which include DOI issuance and publishing. And it also has mechanisms for resource sharing to allow sharing data, analytics, and applications. Uh, people have also asked, how did this get started? Uh, it was the idea 15 years ago of a nanoscientist at Purdue University named Mark Lundstrom, who had simulation tools but not large audiences for his tools. And he thought, gee, if we could create an easy way for people to put web interfaces on their tools, we'd be able to deploy them over the web and nobody would have to download and install anything and they could just run them in the browser. Uh, and that generated a reasonably large audience for Mark's tools. What we found was there was an awful lot of Mark Lundstrom's and an awful lot of audiences for those tools. And what that grew into today is an operating infrastructure that's up 24 seven and you can see the activity day and nighttime in this plot uh, that hits about uh, 1.4 million users a year. We do a great deal of analytics on all of our Hub Zero hubs. And for example, we've been able to uh, understand that the translation time for research into education uh, has a median time frame of nine months when deployed on a hub, which is very quick. You can kind of see the pathway of that migration in this animated plot in the lower corner that I'm not going to let finish or continue. Um, so the next sort of thing that happened out of that was the question, if you can run a successful infrastructure like NanoHub, can you use the same technology to run other scientific communities? So Hub Zero was spun out of that. And today Hub Zero is behind about 60 different scientific communities. We employ 25 full-time professionals at Purdue University and we're currently self-sustaining. Um, so a little bit about this, the sharing of hub tools. Um, our current mechanism uses OpenVZ containers, which means uh, users don't have to download or install anything. Dependencies all get resolved. Um, it's also very importantly, now we're having these tools indexed on Web of Science as their own entity on Web of Science. So we're starting to see additional recognition mechanisms for this. To give an example of what one of these tools looks like, this is a molecular dynamics trajectory viewer that exists on uh, NanoHub. And uh, people can twist and move these molecules around however they want. It happens in the browser, so you don't have to download anything. And notably, the people who've built this tool will be having a special journal issue coming out uh, a little bit later this year that has links to this tool directly in the article. So the reader will be able to read about the trajectory, click on a link and bring it up and view it instantaneously on the web. Um, we are looking at new tool hosting environments in addition to what I've described here, notably Jupyter with some of our own twists on the Jupyter server. Uh, also people have been continuously asking us to host web apps, which we generally hate because they code them all different ways. Uh, but I think we've worked out a way to do this safely as well. Now, yesterday we talked about, in the, or we heard about in the keynote speech about how healthcare professionals hate to share data. In another one of our Hub Zero communities called Remedy Central, that's exactly what's happening. We have 250 competing hospitals that voluntarily share their compliance data with medical device alerts with each other, uh, basically because they've determined that the value of sharing the data and improving patient safety overall outweighs the fear of sharing that data. So it's a really great community to work with. Uh, the side effect is that we get tens of millions of records of data about hospital performance to share with researchers to do their own research on as well. Uh, so it's a very interesting Hub Zero community. Uh, I'd also like to announce another project that Hub Zero is involved in that some of you may have heard about. Uh, it's called the Science Gateways Community Institute. This is funded under the NSF S2I2 program. It's currently led by SDSC and a variety of partner institutions. And the goal of this is to help investigators as they uh, undertake the, the process of putting up a scientific site online, not with just a technical piece of it, but with the fact that they're about to start running a business. And there's a lot of things that go into that, as we heard yesterday, beyond just putting up a site. So our goal for that is to help. Uh, we have our inaugural conference in November in San Diego. Everybody here would be invited to attend if you'd like to. There are some cards up next to the projector if you're interested in this to learn more about it. And finally, why am I here? Um, I appreciate you giving me a forum here. Uh, I'm really here to make a little bit of awareness of Hub Zero, but more importantly, to seek out if there are partners in the bioinformatics field, that maybe there's something that we can accomplish together that either of us alone might not be able to do or to do as well. 
So if anything I've said intrigues you, I, I'd be happy to hear from you. I'd love to hear from you. All the contact information is up on the board here. Thank you.